Hey guys, I'm going to do one more Dollar Tree Christmas gift basket idea video. Since you guys like my last one so much, I'm just going to finish one up for this year. And if you guys need any Christmas last minute gift ideas, here is the video for you. You can do these baskets for Christmas or any other occasion of the year. They are not all Christmas related. So without further ado, let's get started in this video. And if you haven't seen my Dollar Tree Christmas gift basket ideas for this year, I'll leave a link in the description box below but please let me know in the comments which one of these baskets is your favorite or which one you liked for your um, gift basket idea for this year and if you have any other ideas please let me know in the comments as well So my first basket, similar to a basket in my previous video, but this is my gold tools basket. Just using a rectangular brown basket and then putting a piece of tissue paper in it. Using a all is calm, all is bright sign with gold sparkly letters on it. And then I'm using this gold frame um, for the back of the basket and then some of these candies that are in um, gold wrappers in this basket as well. Some are sugar free. And then one of these little um, ornament picks with sparkly gold flowers. Also uh, adding in that gold sparkly bell ornament and then just a bunch of candies and chocolates in the front. And then just finishing it with some more gold wrappered chocolates and then this gold um, flower pick in the back. This next basket is my pink power girls basket. I'm using this little container from Dollar Tree and then I'm just gonna fill it with a bunch of little girls items and then pink wrapper candies. I'm using this loofah in the back and then just filling it with a bunch of girls items. So like the little nails, some more candies. I'm also adding in some pink colored socks and then just a couple other items like some gum and then some ponytails and also a pink hairbrush. And you can add pretty much whatever you can find. There's a lot of different things you can pick in the Dollar Tree to fill this type of basket. This is another basket for a girl more in junior high or high school, but I'm just adding some filler to the bottom to raise up the display in this basket. To the back of the basket, I'm adding this longer scrubby brush, and then also I have this eight pack of travel tissues. Dollar Tree is great for just any kind of girl accessories, self-care kits, so you can put whatever you want in this, but I have these facial wipes and just different things for like a girl who likes different girly things. So here's some fuzzy socks, and I'm just playing around with how I want to display it. Here I have this hairbrush. This one's a little bigger than the last one. Um, so similar items to the last one, but kind of geared towards an older girl and then some more hair ties, ponytails, some gum. So just add whatever you want. You could add nail polish, makeup, um, those little face mask things, anything you want for a girl basket. This next basket is my farmhouse slash black and white buffalo plaid buffalo check basket. Here I'm starting out with some more filler just to raise the display in this basket. I'm using a plain black basket from Dollar Tree. They're coming out with a lot of new um, larger bins which is really nice. But for first off I am putting in this larger 
plastic plate towards the back with a buffalo check pattern on it. And then this It's a Wonderful Life sign from the Christmas section. And later on, I'll actually put the sign behind the plate for display, but for now, I'm just leaving it here in the front. And then I'm adding in these black and white oven mitts right here. It says family is everything, so I put in two of those. And then this mug, it's actually from Dollar General for $3, but I thought this went really well with this basket. And then these are from Dollar Tree. Um, these are candle holders, but you can use them for whatever you want. Um, if you're doing like a craft or display, I thought those were really nice. And then adding in these gift card holders. And then also just um, this little ornament that says Mary with a little buffalo check ribbon on the top. And then these um, cupcake holders. For this basket, I'm starting off with a larger red rectangular size basket, filling it with some crumpled up tissue paper, and this is going to be my hot cocoa mix basket. So I have some hot cocoa, and then I have some marshmallows. These I actually got from Dollar General. Um, they're the smaller marshmallows, and then just putting in some Christmas hot cocoa spoons, so the chocolate ones, and then the peppermint ones, and then um, just some candy canes and some peppermint <coughs> sticks. And then this little um, single-served mug. And you can hear my daughter in the background. She is starting to talk, so she wanted to be in the video too. For this basket, this is my gnome basket using this red bin from the Christmas section. And then these gnome for the holidays oven mitts towards the back I'm putting those in. And then I also have some hot pads that match as well, so putting those towards the back. And then just some more gnome items that Dollar Tree had. Here's a little tin. I'm not a fan of the gnomes, you guys, but for some of you guys who are, I know that was a big hit for Dollar Tree a couple years ago, so they came out with a lot of stuff. I'm using this mug from Dollar Tree that has the little gnome on it. And I know they had some gnome um, little stuffed animal things, but I couldn't find mine there, so I just have this candy. And then these little paper, wrapping paper cutters. And I just ended up with this little guy to stick in there too um, for this display. Alright, for this next basket I am doing a kids activity basket. So just filling it with some crumpled up tissue paper again because I did run out of the shred. I had to improvise with what I had so you can do whatever you want to. But just starting with the tissue paper and then um, starting towards the back, I'm using some of Dollar Tree's um, game boards. So I have the Sorry, the Trouble, and then the Candyland. And they have other ones as well, but these are the three that I picked out. So I'm just putting these towards the back. And then just adding in whatever Dollar Tree games you could find in their store at the time. I know they have like a bingo, but here I'm putting in this little, like the bouncy ball um, board thing and then um, a Jenga game and then they had this little memory game that was like foam um, but Dollar Tree has a lot of different games you can use um, for this display so just pick whatever ones that you want and then just to fill in the gaps I'm just adding some candy that I had here on hand again Dollar Tree has some more games if you want to look around and find those that would be fun for this basket For this basket, I'm using this deeper black bin from Dollar Tree. I love the, that they came out with these, but for this basket, I would use a more shallow basket. Um, but for this, I'm using a tablecloth from Dollar General. And then I'm also adding in this sign from Dollar Tree with the buffalo check. You can see this display is going to be all plaid stuff, so I'm using this little headband with the buffalo check on it as well. And then adding in these little... Um, gift card holders that are the red and black plaid and then I'm adding in this cup again this is from Dollar General um, but this is the black and red one they had and then on um, this little stuffed animal that Dollar Tree had 
and then just some candies that I'm adding in to fill up the space. Alright, for this basket, this is my warhead basket for the kids. It could be for adults too, but I'm just using this little elf basket and then just filling it with all the candies that Dollar Tree had that were warhead flavored. For my last basket, I'm actually going to show you this in two different ways you can do this. For this one, I'm using a larger gray see-through basket, putting in some filler on the bottom, and then I'm just adding in a bunch of different warm drinks that you can get. Some of these, most of these actually, are from Aldi's, but Dollar Tree does have some like coffee and different things you can use, the single serve mug idea, um, and then just adding in different things that kind of go with it that you could put alongside with your coffee or your tea or your hot cocoa or whatever cider here I have. So just showing you what it could look like this way and then um, also what it could look like if you used a smaller basket. I am putting a mug in here and then also this little coffee magnet that I had seen at Dollar Tree just to give it a little something extra. I also love that Dollar Tree came out with these little smaller baskets. They come in the black or the white, so I'm going to use this one for the display if you want to make it a smaller version. I also thought this looked really nice um, using like Dollar Tree coffees or teas or whatever you want to put in there. Here I have this little single serve mug and then some raspberry hot cocoa that was from Aldi's. Um, and then this little cheesecake that Dollar Tree had and then a mug in here and then also putting that um, magnet that I had showed you from earlier and this is just a smaller version of the basket that I just showed you. But that wraps up our video for Dollar Tree's Christmas gift basket ideas. If you guys liked a basket, please let me know in the comments. And then also please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already to see more future videos similar to this content and other content that we also do on our channel. And I hope you guys have a good Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll see you guys in the next video.